Hello everyone. Okay, so I am finally getting to try this product. I've got to tell you it's been a long and crazy day for me, so I'm starving and I've got nothing really to eat at home, so I want something quick. And I thought, okay, I've got my so delicious dairy-free mozzarella shreds. I'm going to make like a little kind of pizza thing uh, just on English muffins and tell you how this is. So first of all, it is 100% dairy-free, it's also soy-free, and it's new, which is exciting. That's why I was really excited to see this. It's perfect on pizza, mozzarella-type shreds. They have also, so they've got mozzarella, they have cheddar, and they have a cheddar jack. Mmm. I only saw the mozzarella and cheddar. It's made from coconut milk. Now that's so delicious. Soy-free, cholesterol-free, dairy-free, trans-fat-free. Keep refrigerated and it will last for seven to ten days after you open it. So I'm gonna freeze some of this. It is, of course, vegan. It's parb, gluten-free, non-GMO verified. Okay, so for every, it has about eight servings in the pouch. For every quarter cup, you get 90 calories, seven grams of fat, 3.5 grams of saturated fat, zero trans fat, zero cholesterol, 190 milligrams of sodium, six grams of carbohydrates, less than one gram of fiber, no sugar, and uh, there's no added sugar, zero protein. There's no vitamin D, no calcium, no iron, no potassium. The ingredients are organic coconut milk, um, palm oil, not good, let's hope that these this is not palm oil that affects orangutan habitats. It has modified starches, potato and corn. It contains 2% or less of salt, potato protein, yeast extract, cultured sugar to retain freshness, citric acid, cultures, tapioca dextrose, natural flavor, xanthan gum, konjac gum, lactic acid, annatto extract for color, and cellulose to prevent caking. It says here, it contains coconut and it's produced in a facility that also has other tree nuts and soy. Uh, they have a rigorous allergen testing program and apply strict quality control measures in effort to prevent contamination. But basically, um, there are, if you have severe allergies, it's something to keep in mind. Okay, so I'm cutting here along the line. And it's. Oh, oops. Okay, so it's that resealable kind of pouch. So I'm just going to take some out. Let's take a look at this. Let's feel it. Feels firm. It smells cheesy. Mmm. It actually... I can almost taste a little bit of the coconut flavor. It has a stronger bite to it than... Yeah, I can taste like a coconutty. Has a stronger bite to it than other mozzarellas, I think. But it's good. The consistency is a little bit interesting, but it's not something you're going to eat plain. So I'm going to I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take a couple of these. I'm going to Put some uh, pizza or marinara sauce, whatever I have on there. I have a bit of marinara sauce. I'm going to add the cheese on top, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I have put some marinara sauce on the English muffins. They already, it already has different flavors in it, like uh, oregano and stuff. So I'm not going to put any other um, flavoring on this the pasta stuff. And I'm basically, I'm just making a cheese thing. I could put a couple mushrooms on one of them. Maybe I'll do that. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this in my toaster oven and like bake for 10 minutes. And then I'm going to tell you, I want to see obviously how the cheese melts. That's why I really don't care to put anything on it. I want to see if it gets nice and melty and gooey gooey. And um, I will be back. Okay, I am back. <laughs> and this is kind of what it looks like. So it's just cooled down slightly. It doesn't get fully, fully melty. It still holds its shape. I mean, I don't know if you put it like fully underneath um, the oven rack or if you, I guess maybe if you microwave it, it might. Maybe I'll do that with one of these pieces. But let me just take a bite. I mean, it tastes like a cheesy pizza. I think I'm going to nuke this just just for a little bit. I don't like microwaving stuff because then it, like bread gets hard and so forth, but I'll take another bite. So 
So it's the kind of cheese that if you put a lot on, it is not going to get all melty and, and, and pull over, so that might be good if you like that. Let me see how the melted, the microwave part, port, ah, portion is. They really just seem to hold, okay, let's see. It's kind of, can you sort of see the meltiness right there? Yeah. Otherwise, it's the kind of cheese that holds its uh, shape more so. A lot of vegan cheese does, except day, I think. I'm gonna just try. Yeah. You sort of see it, it's hot. I'm gonna taste that piece though because let's see how it tastes melted. It's good, it's a perfectly good mozzarella cheese. I do acknowledge that the marinara is a little bit on the strong side, so I'm not tasting the strong, strong taste of the cheese, but just having tasted that right there, it's fine. If you want a vegan cheese to put on your pizza that is going to give you that melty, cheesy effect, you can really use this. I like it. So delicious. Vegan mozzarella shreds. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. I'm going to eat this because I'm starving. Okay, I am still hungry. And I decided I'm going to try doing this cheese a different way. Because honestly, the marinara was really strong. And I just want to be able to sort of enjoy the flavor of the cheese more and really get a good idea of what it's like. I mean, I didn't taste anything negative. But, you know, that said, you can, I didn't really taste it fully. So I'm just going to make like a half quesadilla. And I sauteed some onions and mushrooms. A little bit of oregano and slight bit of chili pepper and I'm putting that on here and I'm just going to microwave this. I've got a bit of, bit of cheese down there on that side as you can see. Just spreading this around and just to make this extra cheesy and see how it turns out I'm gonna put some cheese on top. Okay so that's a good dose. I'm just folding it over like this and probably press it down. I'm going to microwave it, and I'll be back. Okay, so this has made a difference. Now you can see some of the meltiness right here. Let's see how that... Okay. And to open it a little bit, you can't really, because it's all melted. So that's how most people like to have their cheese. It's a bit warm, but definitely um, ooey gooey melty cheese right here. Let's just take another look. Yep. Ooey gooey melty cheese. I'm going to take a quick bite. Mmm. And so far this bite is delicious. But it's so nice to be able to have something like this. Some sautéed onions, mushrooms, melted cheese on a tortilla wrap. Yeah. The cheese tastes nice. Surprisingly, it doesn't seem to taste as strong now that it's melted. Maybe it's just the other flavors in there. But it's definitely really good. Mmm. Okay. That's a nice bite. Yeah. Mmm. Beautiful, ooey-gooey mozzarella cheese. Just happens to be vegan. No cow needed. No lactose needed. You guys can eat and enjoy this. I love it. Alright, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.